Welcome Pickens High students in biology. <clears throat> this video, I wanna emphasize a few of the things in the first uh, couple of pages of the macromolecules packet. And so if you'll take a look quickly at model two, which says simple sugars. So this is kind of a clue. And the critical thinking question here says what kinds of carbohydrates are shown in the model above explain and really to answer that, you do also kind of have to go back to the information above. And one of the big things in the information above is that the polymer chains of sugars that make up carbohydrate chains like polysaccharides, both consist of, whether we're talking about starch and corn or cellulose and wood, they both consist of repeating units of glucose and that the carbohydrate monomers are linked into polymers by bonds with different geometries. So glucose is a carbohydrate monomer and glucose is one of the molecules shown in model two. So if glucose <coughs> is a monomer then that means that glucose and these others are all examples of monosaccharides. So our answer here, remember we want complete sentences whenever possible, is that the carbohydrates shown above are all monosaccharides because they each only have a single ring where the ring is this circle or circular loop that connects several atoms together in the molecule. And so whenever you see a single ring in a carbohydrate, that will always be a monosaccharide. Now we're going to continue to look at that model and we're gonna use this information here along with that model. And so this is extremely important when we think about how we draw molecules, because when scientists sketch molecules, we try to simplify the sketches by not writing in all of the carbons or hydrogens. Because the direction of the hydrogens is important in the monosaccharides above, they are included, but the carbons are excluded. However, there are monos. However, there are still carbons in the molecules above. In a line structure, there is a carbon atom wherever two or more lines meet. Two of the molecules above have six atoms in the ring. The third only has five. And question 14 says, write into the line structures in the model above where each of the carbon atoms is located, okay? The other thing to pick up on here is that information here is confirming for you that they, these are monosaccharides above, okay? Now you should not use that in part of your explanation here because the idea is that you should be able to identify that these are monosaccharides based on what you can see in the molecule, okay? Now this sugar here, this glucose, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, back to the first one. So it has six atoms in the ring. This one also has six. This one has one, two, three, four, five, back to the first. So this one only has five atoms in the ring. Now, the information that we just read says that wherever two or more lines meet, that's where a carbon is. So a lot of times people might put a dot there to emphasize, okay, that that's a carbon. 
But for what step 14 is asking you to do, step 14 is asking you to take each of these intersections and go ahead and draw in that there is a carbon there. And some of these are harder to see than others, okay? Ha ha, see. So all of these corners contain or are carbon atoms. And when we look at molecules, we wanna be able to start seeing those corners as carbon atoms. I'm not gonna fill those in on fructose for now, although you should have them filled in on your own packet. So again, when you get to there, it's not a question, it's asking you to do something to interact with the packet. You might check that as being done. The next set of information, carbon forms a maximum of four bonds, period. Carbon cannot form more than four bonds ever. If you count the number of bonds to any carbon, they should total four. But if hydrogens are excluded, there might be bonds to hydrogen which aren't shown. So in the line structures above for glucose and galactose, there is only one carbon in the structure which seems to have less than four bonds. Where is that carbon? How many hydrogens are bonded to that carbon? So which carbon in glucose looks like it has less than four bonds? Well, the carbon that looks like it has less than four bonds is right here. Notice that it only has two lines shown in the structure. So we can only see two of those bonds there. But what does this information say happens with the bonds that we don't see? This information here is saying that there are bonds to hydrogens which aren't shown. And so in reality, there's two hydrogens attached to that carbon. But if we draw all of those hydrogens in, these structures can get a little bit messy, which is why we often leave them out. So again, 15, da, 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 da. yeah, I'm just showing those. You don't actually have to draw those in, okay? So where is that carbon? It's on the outside. Branching off the ring. How many hydrogens are bonded to that carbon? There are two hydrogens bonded. Okay. And then in the line structure for fructose above, there are two carbons that seem to have less than four bonds. Where are they? and how many hydrogens are attached to those carbons. So in fructose, I did not draw in all the carbons, although you should have them all drawn in. But remember, you wanna to start to recognize that the corners, the intersections of these bonds are where the carbon atoms are. So again, we see a carbon atom here, just like these, that's branching out from the ring and it's missing two bonds, which must mean that it has two hydrogens bonded to it. So where's the other carbon in fructose with only two hydrogens? You should say here. And again, you do not have to write those hydrogens in, but again, those hydrogens are there. They're just not typically shown when scientists are drawing these molecules, okay? Kind of continuing with this is the idea of 3D perspective. And in molecular drawings, scientists use solid wedges to show which parts of a molecule are coming towards you and a series of dashes to show which parts of a molecule are pointing away from you. And so, this wedge here is coming towards you. So is this wedge here. So is this wedge here. And so is this wedge here. 
all of these dashed ones are going away. In other words, the dashed ones are pointing down into the paper and the wedges are pointing up from the paper. In this exercise here, you should also label where all of the carbon atoms would be. And sketch in any missing hydrogens. And as a double check, all of your carbons should have four bonds going to them. And these will include the wedges and the dashes. The wedges and the dashes will count as single bonds. When you are finished, count all of the atoms and express the molecular formula as CXHYO. And so, OZ, there's a Z that's left off there. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 carbons. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 hydrogens. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 oxygens. That would be the molecular formula for this whole structure, okay? And then 18, what kind of carbohydrate? Well, you should notice now that there are two rings in this structure and that there is a linkage between the two rings. So now this is two sugar molecules put together, which makes this a disaccharide. And then that's confirmed in the following information, okay? And then you should wanna go back and circle all of the alcohol groups in a different color, as long as you have a different color or you could use a highlighter, okay? And then think again about intermolecular forces with the OH functional group. And then taking a look at the four previous molecular structures. So that's sucrose, fructose, galactose, and glucose. Okay, so those four structures, which of those four would have the strongest dispersion forces and why? Okay, so if you have questions about those, make sure you're asking. I hope this video is helpful as you are checking over, especially for learning how to look at molecules and see where the carbons are.